Hard fight to score, but I'm going to give it to Chocolatito. Please subscribe. We're here live real time. Had a nap. Fell asleep doing a Terrell Goucher, Jamonta Clark fight on Showtime. On History Controversy with FightView360.com. So, the last time these two fighters fought, Juan Francisco Estrada and Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez, controversial win. Was it controversial? I mean, I did, did a lot of people felt that Estrada won the first fight? Well, now I believe that Chocolatito is going to win this fight via, via a close margin. You know, this is one of them fights where the fighters are so good, and with the weight division... With them throwing so so many punches, it doesn't. How can I say? To me, I can see how some people may see. Well, this don't look like this don't look skillful. What what is that? What was that? Mostly because you know these guys are good, and a lot of the shots, like we were seeing them land and heads, you know, being jerked back and forth. What are they talking about? Sutherland. He has been judging fights since 2002. Boxing fans oh, might remember the Malinaji's fight against Juan Diaz back in 2009 when Malinaji unloaded. I like that. Put these judges, judges on the spot. Decision. Sutherland was one of those judges. He also scored Breakus McCaskill one wide for McCaskill. Both those cards indicate that Sutherland likes aggressive fighters. So the winner of this fight is going to fight um, the Rat King, Sursaket, Rung Visai. Remember what he did to Chocolatito? What was that about four uh, years ago over on HBO? Chocolatito has now been back since. The first fight, a lot of people thought with uh, Rung V-Side that Chocolatito had won but got somewhat of a gift. No, correct. Yeah, no, had won but was a controversial loss. But then Rung V-Side came out and pretty much like, you know, beat the shit out of him. Had him like crying and shit. I'm sorry if I'm cussing too much, especially Chocolatito, you know, Christian man, man of the cloth and all that. So here's Rung Visai. He fought last night also on the zone against a guy whose name I cannot pronounce. You see? Song knowing, but that's probably not even his real name. It's probably like his Thailand name. Hold on, let's listen in. Time for. And these two warriors in Please subscribe. Take the time out. Like the video. More videos coming we after this. To the Jesse Reyes scores the contest. 115, 113 for Gonzalez. Ooh. Carlos Sucked Sucre it. scores it. You think it's going to be a draw? To 111 for Estrada. David Sutherland has it. 115, 113. Split decision. Winner. El Ganador de Mexico. How do you feel about that? I'm not upset. Because a lot of punches. How does social media feel about that? You know, you can't argue with a close scorecard like 115, 113. 117, 111 for Estrada. That's pretty wide. I had it 7 5 for Chocolatito, but 117, 11, 111, that's just, I, I don't know what Wrong. we're looking at, but we are in Texas. We've seen this before. I, I don't know what to say. Calling it ringside, it Texas. felt like Chocolatito did enough. Nevertheless, there he is. And still the champion as Sarisaket Sorungvasai perhaps awaits him. But you know, Chocolatito will win a trilogy here. He felt very confident after the fight, as did yeah. his corner, that they did enough to win. But he's one of the nicest guys. Uh, did they announce who was in um, attendance? And also, you know, a third fight, I think it should happen. You know, especially since both of these guys, I can't see either of them competing at 118 pounds. The division is above the 115 pound division to fight right now. That 118 is ruled by Anoye. And, you know, even though he's not undisputed, you know, he's unified. I see him, you know, dispatching both of these guys. But overall, it was a great fight. You know, action packed, high skill. I can see how a lot of people are going to be like, damn, motherfucking Chuckle Tito got robbed. But in a close fight, you know, you can't really call it a robbery, can you? You know? 
I don't know, mates. I don't know. See, and that's that's you see that right there? That was the rounds. And now it's Chocolatito for most of the time. Back and forth. Excellent combination punching. Damn. This is where Gallo was at his best when the distance, ah. fighting behind that jab, landing those clean shots right there, not letting Chocolatito inside. Clean punches by Gallo Estrada. Chocolatito coming forward. Wait for the post fight interview. This is all El Gallo right here. But they ended like champions. Over a thousand punches each once again. Champions Dang. fighting like champions in the championship rounds. Keep in mind. Well, once again, we already know who the winner I mean, is going to face. So it's not like it's really too much to talk about in regards to that. Um... Ioka has the WBO belt. I forgot. You know, I'm kind of... Wait a minute. I'm looking at the wrong guy. Them. Yeah. German and Kahas is headed over to PBC. I forgot what card he's going to be fighting on. IBF champion. It's a shame because at one point in time, I actually predicted or kind of saw the fact that... Hold on. One minute jump cut. I think I hear my dog. Please subscribe. Like the video. Okay. We are back. Look at those punch stats. Pause it if you have to. They're probably about to fall off right now. Estrada landing 314 to 391 for Close numbers. Gonzalez. Like I said, the good news is we're probably going to see a trilogy just in the probably little win. giant footsteps of Ch Chiquita Gonzalez and Michael Carvajal. Like I said, the good is thing is these guys are not moving up. Next. Well, I will say this. Well, I don't see On a day that up. we lost a boxing legend in marvelous Marvin Hagler, this fight would have made him proud. Absolutely. I mean, this is exactly his Yeah, mantra. that was a damper uh, on the night. He, he likes to go forward, throwing punches. I was just watching um, Legendary Nights just not even a couple of weeks ago, and I was watching, like, old footage of, um, of the fight. Oh, they're here. Post-fight interviews. Here what he has to say. Hopefully, the translator's not trash. All right? So help me out, guys. Listen in. You are always going to be close. When the final bell rang, did you believe you won the fight? Felicidades. Que ganaste la revancha. Las peleas entre ustedes dos siempre son cerradas. ¿Tú crees que hiciste todo por, para ganar? Sí, la verdad me sentí muy bien. Eh, me sentí muy bien. Eh, creo que merecí la, la, la victoria. Gracias a Dios se dio el resultado. Making Pero Román González es un gran peleador y se merece una tercera pelea. Yeah. I think I did enough to win. Chocolatito is a great fighter and I think he deserves the trilogy. We'll get to that. Before the 10th round, your corner told you you may need a knockout, that you were behind on the cards. Did you feel you were behind? Antes del décimo round, tu esquina te dijo que tal vez tenías que noquearlo. ¿Tú sentías que ibas atrás en las tarjetas? Eh, la verdad, sentí que iba muy pareja. No sabía si muy abajo o arriba, pero sí sentí que iba pareja. Por eso apretamos los últimos dos rounds. Yeah. He said, I knew it was a close fight. I didn't know if I was up or down. But I need to make uh, close out the fight the last two rounds. What kind of adjustments did you make during the fight? ¿Qué ajustos hiciste durante la pelea? Eh, bueno, eh, si él me tiraba dos o tres golpes, yo tenía que tirarle cuatro o cinco para para anotar un poquito más la diferencia. If he threw two or three punches, I'd have to return two or three punches as well. They were. They were In trading. In 2012, you had to really shrink down to 108 pounds. This was a more natural weight for you. How big a difference did that make? 2012, you had to lift a lot of weight to make the 108. Did you feel different this time? Yes, without doubt. In the last round, in the last round, I wanted to abandon the fight because I was very weak, but my heart, the guerrero, made us stand up for the fight, and now I feel very good, and I came very well prepared. The first time I had a difficult time with the, with the weight, so I felt a little weak. But I'm at my weight, and I, feel, I felt a lot better this time around. You have two titles right now. Officially, you owe Sor Rungbasai a world title shot. But you just said you'd like the rubber match with Chocolatito. Which for you comes first? Mandatory has to come first, right? Right? Go after another belt. Rangasai is a mandatory, so I'll look at that. 
but I'll, I'll approach a third fight any day with Chocolatito. Congratulations, Juan. Felicidades, Juan. Gracias a toda la gente que está, que está aquí. Arriba Peñasco, arriba Peñasco. Arriba Peñasco, arriba México, arriba Sonora. We're going to bring in, we're going to bring in Chocolatito. Roman, it was a tough fight, but did you believe you won it? These motherfuckers are tiny, aren't they? Whatever happened had to happen, but I gave it a good fight. I would have been happy either way with the result. I did my work. La grandeza de Dios no es mía. Yeah, the only guarantee is from the Lord. El Rey soberano el That's que true. le dio todo a él. And death. Everything that I have, I owe to God. That Bendito shit's gonna happen. God bless God. Watching from ringside, this felt like round 13 between you two guys. How different, if at all, did it feel from the first fight? Viendo la pelea de afuera del ring, era el round número 13. ¿Qué tan diferente era esta pelea a la primera? Bueno, esta fue mucho mejor que la primera. He said if it was a better fight than the first one. Me sentí gozoso. Siento que gané la said, pelea muy bien. I felt strong and I felt I won. Cerré, la, cerré el último asalto con uno mejor. In the last round, I gave it all. It was a great round. Oye, pero Dios quiso así. That's what God wanted. The result is what God wanted. And I'm happy because I'm going back home to see my family. It is now 1-1 between you and Estrada. You heard him say he wants a third fight. Do you want a third fight? It has to be a third fight. I want both of them. Whatever God wanted, and whatever He wants, we'll do it. Estoy feliz porque lo que Dios me ha regalado, el talento boxeo. Said I'm very happy with my performance. Y disfrutarlo con cada uno de ellos. And enjoy and have the crowd enjoy the fight. You're always entertaining, Roman. Thanks for the great performance, and hopefully we see you back right here soon. Gracias siempre. So what does he do next, right? You know, let's get some new meat. You know, Tanaka, see what he's going on, going, or you know, he should go and target um Ioka. I'm still pissed off that I didn't cover the Ioka Tanaka fight. He should target that fight. I mean, Jeremy Kyles is over on PBC. I forgot who he's going to be fighting. You know, it's a shame because if he would have stayed with top rank, I would have had better. You know, um. I'm so happy. Nicaragua, muchas bendiciones. I would have better faith that the fight would happen. Oh, come on, oh, shit. Don't start. Oh, damn it. An emotional Chocolatito and Sergio. All right, all right. That's, you know, I'm not saying that Jordan Cajas can't move to, you know, 118. You know, there's some fights over there for him to get. Especially with a Donair or a Bali or a um, Rigand, I'm talking about over on the PBC side. So, Estrada versus Rung V side, likely next because of the mandatory situation. Roman Gonzalez, I think he should fight Ioka next. And Jervin and Cajas, yeah, we don't know what's going on with that. I'm T-Street Controversy with FightView360.com. Take your time out. Please like your video, like the video, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at FightView360. I was going to say mine. And my personal um, um, is my personal Twitter is T-Street4Life. My bad, I'm tired. The number four. Please subscribe. <laughs>